What's up, guys? We're at uh, just outside of Jackson, Tennessee. It's Denmark, Tennessee. DIY Auto Parts. It's pick and pull. Cost you two dollars to get in, and come out here and pick your own part. Check out this old van here. I guess it's a. Is that a Toyota? I'm not sure what that is. A bongo four-wheel drive. What is this thing? It's a Mazda bongo wagon. I've had some bondo wagons before, but never a bongo wagon. A spoiler on top of it. Curtains in there. It's a Oh, it's a right side drive too, guys. Look at there, if you can see that. There's different badges all over GSX. It's pretty interesting to find. Out here in the full part in Jackson, Tennessee. I got my little, tool, my little box here with some tools in it I brought just in case I found something. I found a, a dealership booster license plate and then another license plate. That's it so far. A lot of these vehicles still got license plates on them, but they're all just common. All just common plates. Now, one I found was some kind of share of the road or something like that, like a specialty Tennessee plate. And I don't know what they charge for license plates. I bought I bought some down here a couple of years ago. Come down here and found I actually found a really good one. It was a uh, Tennessee plate, but it was a Tennessee Titans plate, and it was personalized. I can't remember what it said on it. I still have it. I want to say they charge just a couple bucks for that. So, uh, so that's good. I guess we'll go back over here and look through the trucks again. I've already been through the cars. I found one uh, Park Avenue over there. I may walk down this other aisle here on the way out, but I think that one Park Avenue... You gotta watch where you step out here, guys. You guys know that if you ever come out to these salvage yards. I think I've seen one old square body ranger out here. I did find a couple Dodge Rams, but nothing really. Nothing I needed on them. These are imports over here. I didn't walk through here. We'll walk through and look at some of these imports real quick. And Nissans and Mazdas and Toyotas and Volvo. I'm about ready to uh, head out of here. Not finding much today. There's another salvage yard to pull apart in Trenton, Tennessee. I might go down there, probably not today, because it's already noon. And I've done enough walking for one day. I feel like, anyway. There's a BMW. I'll set my toolbox down, look at the back of some of these cars, and see if there's any specialty license plates. Like I said, the common license plates. I'm not really concerned with. What's this one got on it? If it's, I don't even have a plate on it. A lot of them don't. A lot of them do. And there may be other license plate collectors, honestly, guys, that, that come out here. I found a plate on the back of a SUV over there a while ago that wasn't nothing. I mean, it was a specialty plate 
but it uh, they had that thing like riveted on there. I've never seen anybody put a license plate on like that, and I don't, I didn't have anything that would in my box here that would take it off. So I didn't even fool with it. Actually, I've already got one like it, so but no big deal. If it would have been, if it would have been real simple to get it off, I would have grabbed it, but it wasn't worth going through a bunch of hassle and it would have been the way they had it on there all right guys diy auto parts jackson tennessee or actually denmark tennessee you get off the exit uh uh i can't remember what exit number it is 76 on i-40 it's uh, the exit where you get off to go to the mckellar sipes regional airport and it's on a road called Betty Manley Road. See, there's a, that's a standard Tennessee license plate there. Nothing special about that one. All right, guys, I'm going to look around just a bit more, and then I'm going to hit the road.